Hi, I'm Martha Bartlett Pyland, President and CEO of Banktastic. We help financial brands build love and loyalty. Today, I want to talk about wasted communications. As marketers, we know that every single touch point with our brand has the opportunity to build our brand or detract from it. And every touch point with our brand can be hard to control. But there are plenty of things that are within our control, and I want to talk about those today. Those wasted communications that are within our control that could help separate us from our competition. I've received a lot of communications lately from financial institutions with whom I do business, and I wanted to share with you what they look like. You've probably gotten some of these yourselves. Here's one that is a financial privacy notice and policy statement. It was emailed. It was three pages long. And you can see that these pages are just full, full, full of black type. My eyes are swimming in black type. Here's another one. It might be a little bit better, oh, but wait, no, there's more. Lots of black type, lots of black type. In this case, at least it's somewhat personalized to me because it has my name in the return address, although it still just says, dear member here. This other one wasn't personalized to me at all. So both of these kind of send a message to me that they don't know me, they don't care about me, and they're really just checking a box. They're doing what they're obligated to do to let their customer know something. I did receive another one recently from Live Oak Bank, and I, I won't mind telling you their name because theirs at least is a little bit better. It's shorter, it's branded with their logo at the top, and it tells me that they value my, my relationship with them, um, that they emphasize transparency as a key pillar of their beliefs and their customer service, and that they provide one of the best savings rates in the country, that that's their goal. So they've reinforced to me some of their value. It does still say, dear customer, but at the bottom, it also has some social media icons and can help me learn more about what they're doing and why transparency is a key pillar and what their customer promise is. So none, none of these three examples, anyone's doing it terribly well, but you can see that we go from worse to kind of bad to quite a bit better. We've seen three examples of ways where there were a lot of missed opportunities for our communications to our customers or members. We are all fighting right now being perceived as a commodity in so many ways. So we've got to make sure that we take every opportunity to build our brand when we are communicating with our audiences. What could they have done better in these? I think there are three things. First off, this was an opportunity to reinforce the value that they feel I bring as a customer. To say thank you. Thank you for being a customer. We really appreciate you. Okay, so nobody said to me, thank you. Two, our communications have an opportunity to set us apart. What is our purpose? Why are we different? Why should someone be doing business with us? We should be able to articulate that and that should be reinforced in these communications. What is different about us? Why are we special? Why do you want to do business with me? And three, this is an opportunity to reinforce the value you bring to the customer. How do you deliver that better customer service? How do you deliver those better rates? What are some other solutions you have that might make that customer's life better? You have an opportunity to share that None of these did a very good job of that. So stand back and take a look at your communications, whether they're coming out from the marketing department or from other departments within your institution. Marketing is not an island. I talk about this a lot. I write about it a lot. 
you've got to join with those other colleagues that you have to make sure that when you are reaching out to customers, that you are all reinforcing the value that you place in that customer relationship, what's different about you, and how you can help make their life better. If you could do that at every single touch point, you really do set yourselves apart and solidify that relationship. So that's it, one, two, three, start working with those other people within your institution and make sure that every single time you send out a communication to your customers, that it's working really hard for you and helping you build your brand and build your financial future. Thanks for watching. Please give us a comment. Let us know what you think about this video or if there's some other topics that you would like to hear us talk about.